Well, oh, it's just so emotional seeing you together. <laughs> you haven't known each other long, have you? No. And yet you've been oh. lifelong sisters. Yeah, yeah. Kathleen, tell us first what you did when you, you approached the programme. Who, who were you trying to find? What unanswered questions did you have about <coughs> your life? I just wanted to find my mother. I wanted, I wanted to know who I looked like. Mm. Mm. That was what it was for me. You know, What's my background? Who am I? You know what's interesting? What really stood out <coughs> to me... Um, and Nikki adopted yourself, aren't you? But and I was, it was early in the episode, you, Kathleen, you talked about... and You're 63... And there's just this need to meet your mum and, and know who your mum is. And you talked at one point about how much you wanted your mum to look at you like a mum would look at a mm. daughter. And for, for you to carry that into your 60s... For, <laughs> or, and you said you've thought about it every day. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. How old were you when you were given up for adoption? Six weeks. Mm. So you have no memories? No. West Hampton no. Station, right? Hand yeah. Over. Yeah. And the story behind that was, was because um, of your mother's mother... Do you want to tell the story? Why, why did she well, pressure your mum to, to give you up? I, what I was told was that she didn't want, ha want a black child in the family. Yeah, because your mum had had a relationship with a chap from... who'd come Jamaica. from Jamaica. Jamaica. Mm. And her mother was disapproving. I mean, she said some pretty strong words, didn't she? Yeah. About and at the time, that. you could understand <clears> it <throat> because, you know, there are some people that don't see colour, but there's some people that do. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. And then, Nikki, you're brought into the story. Of course, Kathleen comes to the programme. Mm. And tell us how you tracked down Mum. Well, we used actually DNA. Yeah. And the thing is, I, we thought it was going to be a story in a show, didn't we? But it became a whole programme. Because mm. we just discovered all these twists and turns. And then Davina was phoning me up saying, you never guess what? <laughs> <laughs> you never guess what we've discovered now? <laughs> We're going to go. I said, oh, I can't believe it. And then we discovered this, and when, then we discovered that. And I sat down <laughs> and I watched it with uh, my wife the other night. And Tina, she just sat... I texted you about this last night. Mm. Yeah. She just sat there and she went, oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh, my God. <laughs> and when, uh, when, we meet, when I meet Teddy, your brother, finally, in the cafe in, uh, cafe in Shepherd's Bush, she just went, oh, this, this can't get any better. I can't believe it. <laughs> you know what was extraordinary about when you sat... You found Kathleen's mum. Mm. You, you're interviewing her about Kathleen and, yeah. and the reasons why she gave her daughter up Canada. for adoption uh, for, uh, at a couple of weeks old. That's right. You had to travel over to Canada to find her. And then she drops a revelation... Kathleen wasn't the first baby that she'd given up for adoption, which meant that then, Jean, you're brought into the story, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, And yeah. you must have also had questions all your life about who your mum was, who your dad was, whether you had any siblings. And I've travelled all the way to Edinburgh. Yes, mm -hmm. always, mm -hmm. yeah. always, almost every day or at least a few times in the week, I would think about my mother, really? always, always. Really? Well, and you're 69, 69, and this has been going on your entire life, you've been thinking about um, your mother. Yes, yes. Uh, and you didn't know about Kathleen. She and, did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Vaguely. My mm. adoptive dad, who brought us up, always said that there was this, uh, another baby. Mm. Uh, because she... because um, he'd been asked if him and his wife would adopt uh, the other baby, but by then, uh, by then, their marriage had broken up, so he wrote back to our mother to say that uh, he wouldn't be able to... Which is a shame, mm. because Does me and Kathleen together. would have grown up together. Yeah. Did you have the same father? No. No, no, no. 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 Both from Jamaica? Four years between us. We've right. got each other He's... now. That's yeah. the thing, isn't oh, yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> you could also imagine she that. Had you known wanted, each other? She always wanted um, a little sister, and yeah. I always wanted a yes. big sister. And now you, that's funny. funny. You yeah. must have instinctively yeah. known that you were missing <laughs> yeah. that person yeah. in you know, your life. It's yeah. almost as if there was a knowing that there was... Because mm -hmm. I'd always thought about a sister. Because for... Kathleen might have known her father, but unfortunately, you, you met the brother and he revealed to you oh, that... Oh, yeah. Died recently, yes, he died just in 2017. Um, but I just, this, 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 I think we've done, you, you mentioned 10 years. I think this is one of the most extraordinary hours of television. Definitely. Yeah. That I've ever been involved with, that, w that we've had on screen. And, and you do this you. all the time. Yeah, so for yeah, you to yeah. say that this is particularly extraordinary. And I it's know. a miracle because my mum, our mum, was born in Uganda, in Africa, in 1931. Mm. And if it hadn't been for the DNA, we never would have known. These scenes were... You're, Nikki, revealing to, to, to people like Kathleen and Jean, right, so we've got some news. Um, yep, 
your mum's alive and you've got a sister and here's a photo of her. And to take all that in, in that moment, is over it's overwhelming to watch. Who knows what it's like to experience? I know, and it, well, it's incredible, it's yeah, very powerful, yeah. but we sometimes do Huge. cry. Well, I do, but they leave it on the cutting room. They do. Because <laughs> <laughs> otherwise you'd just be uh, weeping yeah. throughout the exactly, programme, exactly. wouldn't you? But it's the stories underneath the stories, and it's all our lives. It's all our, our yearnings mm. to, mm -hmm. to belong as well. And there we are, Kathleen Senior, this lovely, genteel woman oh, she's great. in her 80s. What a life, what a she is, what a I love this story. text, and she's, she's lovely. lovely. She's you think lovely. about what, her her mother. what it must lovely. have been like for her to, to give up a baby, in your case, at six weeks because of pressure from her mum, and she handed the baby over at West Hampstead train station. Crying. Oh. And then, Jean, mm. in your case, you were six months old. Six. Yeah. So uh, my, our mother... She changed her mind. She wanted to keep Jean. me for six months. But you know what? She was tough. And yeah. she, she had to sort of Strong bury it, yeah. as character. you would. She had to put a little bit and bury it all her life. But then, yeah. as I spoke to her, I saw the, her yeah. face changing and I saw the realisation that this, this was going to happen and she was going to see her babies. Yeah. Can you explain yeah. why, why, why <laughs> it means so much to you? And what has been, now that you've met your mum in Canada and you, I know you're going to see her again, of course, and you, you talk, what is the sort of lasting... That happened in March, I think. What is the lasting impact for your life? How does it... How has it changed you? How does it make you feel? I know who I am. Mm. Yeah. I know who I am. Mm. I know I know where I've come from. I know there was adventurers and courageous, mm. no, musical, courage. Very and, musical, you know, mm. very musical, yeah. uh, very creative, mm -hmm. very creative. Mm. Yeah. A one fabulous bloodline so like, to come from. Yeah. Fabulous. It's like, it's like you've, got, you've got something behind you now that it's like you've thickened. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's like, you, you know, you feel, you know, so before it was like... It's coming feeling. home. It's coming home. There's a feeling yeah. of contentment inside. And I feel full. Yeah, yeah. You know? Uh, I just to I'm come somebody. Back to, to where I began this conversation, I just found it so powerful, the idea that the longing for your mum all those years. Oh. Still into oh, your sixes, yes. that longing every day. Yeah. Almost every oh, yeah. day, yeah. And do you text every day with mum? We have a... We have every a, day. We have a WhatsApp, <laughs> a WhatsApp group. <laughs> a group clan. It's, yeah. We call it the, the clan. clan. Yeah. And we all... Her daughter uh, started it. Yeah, Sarah. we all... Uh, you know, communicate yeah. and Kathy, on WhatsApp. Yeah. And you know about your dad, because Teddy was able to give you some information yeah. about him. Yeah. Um, Jean, do you know very much about your father? Um, no, no, no. Unfortunately not. No. Unfortunately so not. still an unanswered uh, question for you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she was, yeah. She was quite Unfortunately young. That's not. a follow-up programme. Thank you. <laughs> it's, it's, I think it's uh, an entire series. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. Uh, Kathleen Jean, thank uh -huh. you so much, Nikki. It's lovely mm, to see you. Yeah. What thank time you. is the programme on tonight? 9 p.m. ITV. It is extraordinary. It's, it's unmissable. one of the best hours of television it I've really seen is. in a long, long time. And, and thank it's you. A, such a privilege to meet you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.